or thinking clear before saying that yes? Not for me. <laughs> I was very clear. This conversation started about five years ago, and uh, it's taken that long because the show is extremely ambitious and uh, there was a lot of development that happened. But what was presented to me by Jen Salfi, Jen Salfi, who's the head of Amazon Studios, was she wanted to create an international, global franchise, which is an original IP which truly connects the world. So when we talk about diversity, Amazon is very much about diversity, and true diversity is represented internationally, not just with having different skin tones, but hearing the way people speak, actually delving into culture. And this show has the incredible ability to span across every country, every continent. So I didn't even know the story, and I was like, yep, yeah, doing it. <laughs> Fantastic, congratulations. Richard, you, of course, have been part of many successful franchises. Um, many of the actually. But why did this one set itself apart for you? What are those one or two things that really excited you about becoming Mason King? I think the thing that really set apart from, I suppose, a bunch of other things that I've done is this concept of duality. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we play two characters each, but then having a memory white and creating this whole other person. The idea of that and the, the concept of what parts of you are built into you as a human and what bits are learned and experienced from traumatic childhoods, etc. And, and how can we play with that concept of our own humanity? That's what we're really doing here. Fantastic, thank you for that. The Russo brothers legends in their own right, right? When it comes to that mega scale, the sort of cinematic storytelling that we could never imagine. And it's so high impact. So I'm going to take this to both of you. When you did the video, as a showrunner and executive producer, who's also the creator of another Amazon original, which is The Hunters. Uh, could you each tell us your experience of working with these amazing, you know, creators? I mean, what's so brilliant about working with people who have such a huge vision 